Hello Udemy, I'm Shafz Adamat from Czech0.com and welcome in lecture number 10. Today we are going to give you some uh, extra information uh, so you can uh, easily create your uh, project or you can easily manage your project using that uh, tips using that following uh, by following that tips and tricks and so uh, our first of all uh, if you are working on more than uh, one framework for suppose you are working on coding writer and you are working you are also working on Laravel so it's hard to memorize each and every method from uh, your frameworks for suppose I don't know how many methods available in the uh, for suppose encryption encryption class I don't know how, how many method available in the encryption class or, or I don't know how many avail available method uh, inside the input class so you cannot memorize each and every method from your uh, classes or from your uh, um, framework or from your any language uh, so it's hard to memorize basically it's hard to memorize so uh, i can not memorize each and everything so uh, so if you are not memorizing or if you are not memorize each and everything so what is the solution how can you know how many methods available in a particular library or a particular framework so because we are using php storm and uh, we are using coding nighter so first of all go to your google.com for suppose we are finding some solution or we are giving you some solutions uh, so right here auto complete auto complete coding nighter php storm so you can see here is a, a result github so php code completion to coding nighter so these are three steps you can follow these three steps if you are working on hmvc okay if you don't know about hmvc just ignore that we are using or we are following mvc pattern okay so download zip okay you have downloaded extract this setup okay we have extracted copy this php storm or you can follow this step drop php storm dot php file into your ci project group then php storm will index it okay so now go to your e-commerce because we keep our coding editor set up inside our e-commerce so here is the docs if you are working on WAMP or LAMP or if you are working on WAMP go to your www directory and find your e-commerce project so I am using XAMPP so that's why it's, uh, I have docs. so e-commerce so this is my root directory I can paste this PHP storm file so PHP for PHP storm file uh, easily index all of these methods or all of these libraries which is available inside my system directory okay so second step what is the second step go to system core folder go to system core folder and controller model file right click and then set mark as a plan you can see uh, I have just showing uh, this uh, input class so you can see it's giving me cookie now it's giving me uh, the methods which is available in the in input class so make sure go to your system core uh, control select your controller and then model and right click mark as a plane so now you can see uh, it will give you the all method which is available in inside the encrypt you can see these are the methods you can access uh, by using by calling the encrypt class or uh, how many methods in the input class you can see input and cookie get part so you can easily now understand how can you uh, manage your code and how can you call a particular method so so you don't need to memorize each and everything you just need to memorize a particular library first suppose i uh, i i remember that uh, i have coordinator 
लाइब्रेरीज बिकॉज कोऑर्डिनेटर प्रोवाइडिंग सम लाइब्रेरीज ई मेल लाइब्रेरी और वेलिडेशन लाइब्रेरी और सेशन लाइब्रेरी और इनपुट लाइब्रेरी सो आई कैन ईजिली सो दिस इज इनक्रिप्शन लाइब्रेरी एंड दीज आर द मैथड्स जस्ट स्पेसिफाई अ मैथड विच यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सेस अ मैथड सो इट्स अ सिंपल ट्रिक और इट्स टिप फॉर यू सो बिकॉज वी आर वर्किंग ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट some project so you don't need to memorize each and everything from scratch or from any framework or library so i think this is enough for today and in the next lecture we are going to explain why you need to create your custom um, helper and uh, how can you concise or how can how can you reduce your code using custom helper oh, no. oh okay i we will show you something in the next lecture so thank you for watching